Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, sitting out on the patio, getting ready to do my chores. I thought I'd get on here real quick for an update on my carnivore diet. But I wanted to go over some things. I got a doctor's appointment. A couple days ago, I uh, went and got some blood work done. Uh, complete workup to, just to see how I'm doing. Uh, with this diet and uh, I wanted to talk to you before we go and then hopefully the doctor will let me record it uh, whether good or bad or whatever you know I want to I want to help other people you know that's thinking about doing that but one thing I want to go over is uh, this diet might not be for everybody I mean it's all protein uh, me I'm a pretty competitive person so when somebody tells me I can't do something that my mind clicks and <laughs> it's, it's kind of weird but but uh, I, I started this on June 1st of 2022 and, uh, and I, I for about a month and a half I was skeptical before that you know I started we follow a bunch of homesteaders and and we we watch a lot of YouTubes ourselves and uh, I seen where a couple people I followed was doing this for health reasons you know Lyme disease, uh, skin skin disease. Uh, not that the people was heavy or oh, a big p person, obese like myself. I mean, I'm a bi I'm a big boy, and uh, so I researched it and I started following a couple couple doctors, Doctor Ken Berry, uh, which is phenomenal, and then you're you're uh, another doctor we follow that I watch a lot of and I'm thinking his last name Sean I'll have to check in on that uh, but he's a heart doctor the other guy and he's been doing it for like six years seven years so I'm thinking if, if a, two doctors are doing this diet it, it it can't be bad but I've had a lot of people that you know friends family that skeptical you know saying that this ain't healthy you gotta eat more than just meat or protein you know I eat eggs I do eat sauerkraut, fermented food. Uh, I try to eat sauerkraut once, twice a month, um, and then I fermented some pickles here a couple weeks ago. And uh, you know, this week I ate like three little, you know, slices, like hamburger slices, you know, circle discs, um, just to help digest the food and stuff. But what I do is I got this Yeti. My wife got this Yeti uh, cup. She won at work. She actually's got a couple of them, but I carry this thing around with me everywhere. I think it's like maybe just shy of 16 ounces, maybe 14 ounces. But and then she bought me a half gallon one that I I can drink out of, or I fill this one up. But what I do is because I do fast. You know, I'll eat two days and then I fast for 24 hours. But the days I eat, I only eat once a day. And uh, so I'm actually fasting, you know, 22 hours a day or whatever, because uh, I only eat once a day. So literally, that could be 24 hours, I guess, 24 hours if I eat at the same time. I don't eat at the same time. It just all depends on what my day is, how busy I am. You know, one day I go mow for a landscaper, so you know, I might not. Time I get my chores and go do that. Time I get home, it's 1:30 or so. If I don't have to make no stops. So I might eat it too, but then we might take uh, some pork chops out, or or uh, we'll have bacon wrapped chicken. So I wait till my wife gets home, and we might not eat. She don't get home normally till six, so we might not eat until six thirty. I always try to eat before seven, uh, be, but I don't go to bed until one thirty-two. So uh, normally I'm up. She goes to bed about eleven. 10 30 11 and usually i watch youtube a uh, couple people we follow i watch those you know until i get them all done normally it's 1 32 o'clock i'm so but when i fast or when i don't fast when i just my own normal day i do do electrolytes when you're on all protein you definitely need more sodium magnesium potassium so we use keto chow and uh, 
electric light drops. Now this has got trace of minerals from the Great Lake, Great Salt Lake. Uh, now, uh, I think this one's leaking. But uh, every time I fill this up, I put drops in it. Now I have this come with a little pocket size dropper or bottle that I just fill up the bottle and and uh, if I go somewhere I take it with me because I you know I drink I'm drinking about a gallon and a half two gallons of water a day uh, but when I'm fasting when I fast for uh, 48 hours or longer I use the keto chow fasting drops now the difference is this here has uh, 125 milligrams of sodium where this here has 220 so the, it gives you more sodium more ma now and this is only sodium and magnesium what else does it have sodium magnesium trace and minerals from the great salt lake and it's like using pink salt doesn't taste like dirt or leave sand in the glass okay so like your pink Himalaya sometimes when you use that for like canning or something you'll get like a brown looks like sand in the bottom of your pan when you dissolve it you just mix it up and add with it but but it's very important if you're gonna do this diet this lifestyle that you have electrolytes I mean it's it's super important if you don't have them electrolytes you will get headaches you will feel like you're hungry all the time. I, I could actually probably go 72, three, four days. I mean, I'm constantly full. When I eat, I can barely get a third pound burger with bacon and an egg. Uh, you know, obviously I still ain't eat no bread, uh, no sugar, uh, but it's it's been, it's been a heck of a journey. Uh, at, when I get to the doctors, I'll see if I can record but uh, I've lost more weight I'll let throughout the video you'll see I'll, I'll announce how much I've lost it's been 85 days since I started this so uh, it's just a new lifestyle for me uh, now I, I I was gonna start in the gym August 1st and I did go down to the last video it was in my gym and I worked out that day uh, but man and when it's 85 when it's 85 uh, outside, it's like 95 to 100 in my gym. It don't have no windows, it just has a door. So I think here in the near future, um, or next spring, I have a big fan to put at the doorway, and it helps, but not much. I mean, it's your time you get in 10 minutes into a workout, you're so sweaty and, and uh, you can't hardly breathe, it's so hot down there. Um, and we, we did it that way because it used to be my son's wrestling room. He needed to sweat. So, uh, But I think we're going to install a couple windows in the spring. Or maybe this fall yet. My son-in-law is a carpenter. And uh, I think we're going to put a couple windows in so we can get some cross breeze. And uh, maybe put a window air conditioner in. Because the room is, it, it, we did insulate it real good. Um, so maybe we can get that put in. And then uh, it'll be a little nicer come July and August next year. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, this this diet might not be for everybody. But I'm going to tell you what, if you can stick to it, you will see results. Uh, I'm down three, I'm actually probably down four pant sizes. The I'm down three pant sizes. I ended up buying new jeans, and they're actually super baggy on me already. Uh, I did have a stall period between 71. Uh, about 71 72 pounds I didn't see much weight loss um, for 25 days but I've noticed my body shrinking you know like I said my pants are so much looser uh, I feel great I got I got more energy and I've had in a long time uh, but yeah I'm gonna get ready to leave here I got like 10 minutes before I gotta leave to go to the doctors and hopefully they can uh, they'll he'll let me a video that way you can hear right from the doctors good or bad you know I'm not I don't want to hide nothing so if this diet's hurting me I want you guys to know if it's helping me I want you guys to know uh, 
I like eating this way. I, I mean, I'm a meat person anyway. I wasn't big on vegetables anyway. So uh, what got me was the breads. Uh, the only pasta I ate was mac and cheese, which I love. But like garlic bread is my, I mean, my killer go-to. I mean, I'd have, I'd have garlic bread egg sandwiches in the morning. You know, I'd have garlic bread a couple times a day uh, with my meals. So, uh, but it, it wasn't a big, I mean, I, you know, you're some days that I would go, I'd still only eat it once a day, you know, but, uh, like I said, if you, if you, if you're going to do this diet, I mean, I, you can find any electric lights. Only reason I, we chose Kita Chow and, uh, they're not sponsor me or nothing like that. I wish they would, but, uh, they, uh, uh, Dr. Ken Berry, that's, that's what he uses. And I figure if it's good enough for a doctor, it should work for me. And uh, we've had this bottle for, um, it's half full. I use it every day. It's still half full. Now, we just found out about the fasting drops. So we just got those in the last month. We've had the, the regular electro, electro light drops for a couple months. Uh, now, my wife, she does a dirty carnivore. Um, she works at a desk, so, you know, it's, it's her lunch choosing. I mean, she, sometimes she'll take her lunch, but sometimes in the evening we're just so busy, like it's canning season, even though we're not eating tomatoes and stuff like that yet, we're still going to can, you know, cause we don't know, uh, you know, by what we hear, food, there's going to be a food shortage. You know, we raise all our own food here. We raise our pigs, we raise our eggs, we raise meat birds, um. Uh, you know, my channel started out as a homestead channel, and it's still going to re remain a home homesteading channel. Uh, but because this is what I do, uh, no, I'm not going to play. Because uh, what I do, uh, this is part of my homesteading journey. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get healthier. No, go lay down. Uh, I'm trying to get healthier so I can do more on the homestead. You know, we want to get, we're going to buy a half of beef off a of buddy of mine this this time, but we're hoping to buy and raise cow. My daughter, when she was home, she raised seven cows at a time. Our barn set up uh, with stalls. Now, we did away with some of the stalls and made rooms out of them and, and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, we plan on raising, hey, get back here. We plan on raising our beef. You know, we still raise our pork. You know, we, we raise our... Uh, meat birds and we have turkeys uh, we have five turkeys we'll be butchering here in November probably uh, for another protein and then we just started our uh, meat rabbits we got to pick up rabbits this weekend matter of fact uh, we're gonna have two does and uh, two bucks and we're gonna raise and butcher meat rabbits for another protein you know we'll make burger we'll make you know so so um, I'll try to start doing like every two weeks update on this carnivore. I knew I had a doctor's appointment, so I was kind of waiting uh, for the update there. And, uh, you know, I want to get in, the, you know, when we go out to eat, if we go somewhere and we go out to eat, uh, how, I, how I eat and still stay on carnivore. I mean, it's simple. You know, you don't have to go out to eat and, and break your diet. So... Uh, and then maybe I could do some meal prepping, show you what we do or what I do uh, to to eat this way. You know, I do a lot of smoking and barbecuing, and uh, obviously it's all meat. So uh, we even smoke our hard-boiled eggs, our deviled eggs. We like smoking them. I like the taste of the smoked deviled eggs. So, well, I need to wrap this up, this section, and it'll, it'll be all one video if we can record at the doctor's office, but. Uh, this is just letting you know. I just want to let you know if you're going to do that diet, make sure you get electrolytes. You're going to need them. And then uh, hopefully I'll bring you back here in 15, 20 minutes. But it'll just be a, a blink for you guys. So you guys have a, a great day and I'll see you here soon. Bye. So I'm at the doctor's for my yearly checkup. Had some blood work done on Tuesday to compare the blood work I'd had done last October before I started carnivore. So I don't know if he's gonna let me record him coming in here, but 
just want to give an update. Uh, my weight loss is huge. Uh, and I'll, uh, when he comes in, I'll, if he lets me record, I'll record. If not, I'll jump back on after I get done with my visit. You guys stay tuned. Okay, here I'm back with my doctor, Dr. Inman. Hey everybody. We're getting ready to go over my numbers. He's gonna tell me if I'm good or bad with his new diet. So. Well, the uh, vitamin D was normal but low and the uh, cholesterol numbers are amazing. His total cholesterol is 133 and the bad cholesterol called LDL is at 87 and that's fantastic. So. Um, Thyroid was great. His uh, blood count is perfect. And the liver enzymes are excellent. His immune system is strong. Glucose is down. His BUN and creatinine for his kidneys, perfect. All good news. And while we're on here, I've lost 84 pounds in 85 days uh, from this morning. So, uh, a little update. I figure I wanted to make sure the doctor let me record him because, you know, he's got a movie star face. So, <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll get back with you here shortly. Thanks. Uh, welcome back. Well, I was at the doctor's. Uh, you did see the video. Great. I'm ecstatic with the uh, with the good news. Um, but here's some things he recommended for me to do. He said my one thing was kind of low that was my D vitamin D uh, and it, it was on the low side it, it's got a chart 30 to 100 and I was at 33 I'm still in the good the norm normal but he'd like to see me like 50 55 somewhere around there so he recommended me to get vitamin D 200 milligram take one a day uh, and then another one, as he looked at Makita Chow and stuff, the magnesium. He told me to get magnesium. Uh, should take it a day. It ain't gonna hurt to have uh, extra of that. And then uh, vitamin C. I got the thousand. They didn't have the two thousand mg, um, which he recommended. So I just I just take two of these a day. Uh, but this is plus, this has the wild rose hep in it, uh, so it's really good vitamin C. So, you know, as we talked to earlier this morning before I went to the doctors about the electrolytes, you know, don't be afraid to add some uh, vitamins uh, in in your diet. Uh, I know I think yours a uh, B12, uh, but my B12 was fine. I'm eating the right stuff for that. Only thing he was, uh, he wanted me to get my numbers up is my vitamin D. But he said never hurts to take C and a little more magnesium. Like my magnesium is only 400 milligram. They had a, they had a bunch of different ones, but he said I didn't need to take a strong one of those. So I stopped at Rite Aid on my way home and grabbed those. I've already taken them for the day. And, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to jump back on here and, like I said, you, you heard what the doctor said. I was glad he let me record. And uh, pretty awesome results. Uh, I have forwarded that little clip to a couple of my family members already. Uh, the ones that was telling me that it couldn't be a good idea. It can't be a good idea. And uh, so after they heard what the doctor said, they was like, wow you know good for me but uh but yeah so I like I said I researched for a couple months before I mean I wish I had to start a couple months ago I'd probably be you know a lot further down but you know 84 pounds down in 85 days is pretty good and, and have the numbers everything being you know excellent you know in my numbers so uh, obviously it's it, it's doing the job and you know, not everybody's gonna drop the weight like I am. You know, uh, I'm pretty strict. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, once I set my mind to something, especially once I see progress, you know, I'm, I'm pretty consistent on staying with that. You know, 
Uh, so it's it's all. I mean, you can. I mean, if you if it takes you a year, two years to drop, you know, fifty pounds, at least you're headed in the right direction. You know, like there for like I said, there for twenty. You know, I was at seventy one pounds, I think, on August first. I was hoping to be at eighty. You know, and that's a that's a big goal. You know, for sixty days to drop forty pounds a month without exercise, especially you know, just doing my normal you know chores. Uh, but if you don't set goals, you know, setting goals and failing is better than setting goals and not trying. Um, and I believe that wholeheartedly. You know, if you set goals and you fall short, it normally will make you work a little harder. You know, on your next one, you know, uh, you know, I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to be, you know, this, what is this, the 25th uh, of August, 2022, you know, I got September, October, November, December, I got four months before Christmas, uh, four months before the first of the year, I'm hoping to be at 120. Loss, so I need to lose 40 more pounds, or actually less than 40. What is it? 30, 36 pounds. I need to lose 36 pounds in four months. Uh, it should be achievable, but just because the number on the scale don't reflect every day you work hard at, you, you know, this whole month, you know, 25 days here. I didn't see I was back and forth. I mean, I, I eat the same way, but I was back and forth. But I've noticed that, you know, my pants I bought the first of the month was, was, wasn't was tight. They were snug, but now they're baggy, you know. Uh, so I might not have seen it on the scale, you know, number-wise, but I definitely see it in my body as it's shrinking, you know. So make sure you don't let the scale discourage you. Uh, because you are going to be healthier, you know, and and if you can, you got to go get blood work done. Do a blood work and say, you know, one year I'll do blood work again, or however long you want to be on. If you want to do it for six months, and do blood work again and see your numbers. Hey, get over here. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. The mail lady was here, and my dog don't like the mail truck. <laughs> She never wants to pet them. So get back here, Dexter. So, uh, but yeah, so don't let the scale discourage you. Do do like I did, do a blood work. Last last October, I had blood work way before I even thought about this diet. And uh, after we went off camera, he, he was able to pull it up and he's like, holy cow, your numbers are just, and I had decent numbers. Uh, all my numbers was kind of low though, but they were still in the good. Uh, in the good part you know not that you know for you know my doctor said for for uh, me being as big as I am I'm, I'm actually pretty healthy uh, and being big ain't healthy I mean you move slower your knees hurt your hips hurt I mean uh, but I'm an active person you know I'm, I'm in the yard I you know I take care of the animals you know it ain't like I'm I'm a heavy person that's sitting on the couch watching YouTube all day uh, I usually only watch the YouTube at night after my wife goes to bed. Sometimes she'll stay up, depending on what I'm watching, she'll watch with me. But it just, you know, I, I watch a lot of canning stuff and, you know, I just taught myself to can. So last last year, so, you know, I'm still trying to do different ones. Like I just made ketchup the other day, first time, and I love it. But yeah, let me. Uh, let me know in, in the comments if you if you want to see some like meal prepping and how I eat and stuff like that. I mean, I don't want to do a video and nobody watch it and don't care. So, uh, if you're something you want to see or know, definitely. I mean, I I go on and check the comments and and I respond to every one of them. You know, so uh, that's something I believe in real heartily. You know, if somebody's got a question, if somebody, I mean, anything. Uh, something that has to do with the keto chow. I mean, you're, and here's other, uh, here's other electrolytes out there. It just, when we was doing our research and Dr. Ken Berry was, had that on his program, 
and that's uh, hey we try that you know if he's doing that you know we didn't want to buy a bunch of stuff and it didn't work or we bought the wrong stuff so and in my research we uh, we wanted to get the best not saying this is the best though we don't know we're not we ain't tried nothing else this is working for so it gives us with me not eating salt not liking salt this works for me I get enough sodium my sodium level was good he, Doc said so but yeah uh, I think that's all I have uh, I, I do appreciate uh, appreciate you following and, and uh, subscribing to my channel uh, like I said it's a homestead channel but it's also my journey it's my lifestyle so uh, that's why we decided to put this this on the same channel because this is what I do um, this is my daily routine you know so like I said if you got any questions if you want to see something different like my mail prep how you know how I how I eat out uh, going to restaurants now I, I do not go to McDonald's uh, Wendy's we do Arby's any restaurant I'll sit down in a restaurant uh, like a couple weeks ago we went to Red the grandkid and my daughter we went to Red Robin uh, and I ate carnivore uh, and then the stuff they sell you on the side the stuff that's not good for you I brought home fed to my chickens or my pigs you know they're gonna charge you for it so I don't I, I take it you know that's just food for the for the animals so uh, but other than that yeah just let me know in the comments if you got a question or or a comment you know uh, like I said I appreciate you guys following me and uh, I'll, uh, I'll try to keep you more informed you know I, I just knew I know it's a long 25 days since I updated but 80 84 pounds in 85 days uh, not too shabby I like to be a little farther ahead but you know you, if you don't set goals and you don't fail goals you won't work harder the next time so I appreciate you guys um, you guys have a great safe day